Hello everyone and welcome back to Crypto Atlas. In this video, I'm gonna be discussing Store J as well as Orchid OXT. I've actually included a separate video I just made yesterday that talks about both of these coins as well as several others. And it's a very important video. I highly recommend that if you guys have not checked out this video to go and watch it and potentially share it. I've created a lot of different videos as you guys can see. Anything that you wanna share, by all means, feel free to do so, and I do appreciate it. But I can't really stress this enough that this is a very powerful video of some high cryptocurrencies that are under $5 each. And StoreJ is one that I had mentioned, and that was right before it started popping up really high like this. So we're going to dive into the charts here. There's not really much going on in the news, even with this major push. StoreJ was just recently added to Coinbase, and that was a couple days ago. So that's one leading contributing factor, and some people are actually looking at this being a good contender against something like Filecoin. If you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button as well. It is greatly appreciated. It definitely helps out this channel. And also click the bell icon so you know whenever we have a new video. So first up, we're going to take a look over here at Store J. As you guys can see, I had set up on the Fibonacci sequence, which is something I mentioned before. It's like my bread and butter. I love this thing so much. The daily candle actually closed out almost on the dot for this position. It actually closed out at $3.16. We had that identifier at $3.08. It did actually have a really, really big push going all the way past not only one, but two different sequences or zones on our Fibonacci sequence zone, reaching up into this upper quadrant right now. So let's go ahead and look at it on the positive side. If this decides to continue rallying up, where is the next major level of resistance expected? Well, the next major level of resistance is going to be at approximately $4.84. Realistically, $5 is the most psychological point. Do keep in mind, okay, that this is a significant run going up. And in such a short amount of time, we could end up seeing it also drop down quite substantially as what typically happens with a pump and dump type of situation, okay? So just be cautious with that. It's I can't stress that enough. And then as far as the RSI goes, you see how far up this is in the overbought territory. It is way, way up there. Um, we are pushing right about 87 89 ish right now it does have more range it could technically move on this and during a bull run that's where we typically see things start to fall off on what the rsi's value is but as of right now because it's in such a short time frame that this has really started to push up just be cautious with this guys honestly um you know remember the golden rule of investing never invest more than what you're willing to risk to lose so if you're willing to take the risk okay if you believe in the long term longevity of the project okay uh, I'm just telling you, it's my own opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. The, be very cautious about coming into a project like this. We're talking about an absolutely huge percentage return too, right? So if you got in on this beforehand, then absolutely amazing for sure. But we're talking about like this went up 126% in a day. That's not normal. I hope you guys understand that. You see something that moves... 20 30 percent in a day that's a really good day something moves up you know two three percent or whatever it's like oh that's you know that's a day this you move up 20 30 percent wow that's a really good day you move up 50 60 70 percent it should be screaming in your head that this is overbought now what i mean by that is that there's going to be a lot of people they're going to say hey i've made a lot of gains in a very short amount of time because a lot of other people are more than likely going to be selling this off too I might as well sell mine off before they do theirs so I can take a profit. The question is, when are people going to start doing that? With as much of a run as it's going up, it becomes more and more probable. As you're starting to see off of these wicks on the top, that is selling pressure that's coming down off of this. For the day, though, it is in the green position. So I'm not saying that it can't go up further. I'm not saying that it won't go up further. But when you look at the law of probabilities, the probability is saying that there's a higher chance that it's going to go down. So... If you were to come into something like this, potentially consider doing, you know, like half or or of an even smaller percentage of whatever funds you may have available that you're like, okay, this is what I can play with, right? Um, just because of the fact that it could very well end up going back down. You want to get your feet wet and in, in the game, that's a different story, right? You're just like saying, I want to get something just to, in case it starts shooting up and it goes up to the price like what you see with... Uh, with Filecoin, right? Just be cautious. Be really cautious, guys. 
Again, it's not financial advice. This is my own opinion on this. Now, if it does manage to break above the $5 region zone, then it's going to have another territory that could push all the way up to around $6.60. We're going to go ahead and keep those as two major level points as of right now. If it decides to go down, we do have support at $3.08, another level at $2.01, Another level dropped down even further would be at $1.64. And then on that 21 EMA, it's all the way down to $1.44. Quite substantial drop. Technicals are also suggesting on the buy side, by the way, as you guys can see down there. So overall, things are looking pretty good. I would expect some more sell-off. Even as I'm talking, you can see that this started to drop just a little bit more down. Uh, if I actually drop this over to like a 15-minute time frame, you can see that this candle that took place is starting to get invalidated a little bit as some selling pressure is starting to go down right here. So do keep an eye on it, and I'll keep an eye on it as well, obviously. Let's go ahead and go take a look at Orchid. Oops, I typed a little bit too quickly, and I hit another letter. Taking a look at Orchid. Orchid has had, two days ago, a massive green candle. Really nice little push up. It actually got rejected here off of the 79 cent range, which is a level of resistance I had previously established in uh, much older videos, and uh, closed out near this other level, which is interesting. But... Aside from that, it did close out two days in a row now above the 21 EMA, suggesting that we potentially have a trend formation for a bull pattern continuation up. As of right now, it is in the red, is aiming towards that 21 EMA. This is not a strong trend as it's only two days of closure. A third day would be absolutely amazing. But if it does go further down, here's where we need to look at. 63 cents approximately, or 0.6384, almost 64 cents. That's going to be some support right there. If it breaks down below that, take a look at the 58 cent range is the next major level zone. Below that, then, we could end up seeing a potential bounce right around 55 cents here. I'm seeing just a little bit of associations going across right here, but it's not exactly that strong. Um, further down below that, we got 47 cents or 0.4769. Volume was quite insignificant yesterday by comparison to that of the green candle. Looks like most of the action was actually on the sell side for this. So if some buyers start to really start to come back in once again, I would be expecting us to test some of these higher levels. So these higher levels we're going to see are 74 cents break above that. We got eight, uh, 79 79.27 then 82, 85, and then we can run all the way back up to the $1 region zone. We break above a dollar, we're in price discovery zone. We haven't had anything be above $1 yet. The RSI is a little bit above the median zone, so it's starting to work its way towards being overbought. But hey, you want this to go up technically because that means that people are buying. Uh, unless you guys are shorting this somehow, then you guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> I love this crypto. Uh, technical suggest a buy as well. So as of right now, I am cautiously optimistic that this is going to have a further continuation on. It has been retesting these levels over and over and over again, guys, right around the 75 cent range. We got also pushing towards that 90 cent range uh, several different times now. So that $1 is on a lot of people's radar. It just hasn't gotten quite that push yet that's needed. And if it can manage to break above that dollar, <sighs> really curious what's going to happen beautiful things could happen or it could just keep playing ugly <laughs> i'm open for you know the the positive side that's going to be absolutely explosive so that's going to go and be it guys um quick video if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit subscribe hit the thumbs up like button as well it's greatly appreciated click the bell icon so you know whenever there's a new video i got a bunch of referral links in the description if you guys want to get some free bonus cryptos, you can sign up using my referral link for Coinbase or Gemini. Uh, there's one for BlockFi, so you can earn up to $250 in bonus crypto using my affiliate link. And then for stocks, I got Weeble and Robinhood. You guys can use those too. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think Store J is going to pull back? Do you think it's going to start making a major run? Is there some news that I, I for some reason I didn't see? I, I tried looking up the stuff. I couldn't find anything. So... If you guys know of something, feel free to tell the rest of the community in the comments below. Or if you just want to say hi, uh, I love the fact we're building a community. I appreciate all of you guys being here, and I will see you in the next episode.